Assalamu alaikum class. Today I am going to deliver lecture on the transport across the epithelial cell. How the transport across the epithelial cell. For example, this is an epithelial cell and this is a apical domain. I am going to write it. Apical domain and this is a Beso lateral domain. This is a apical and basolateral lateral domain, and this is a cell, is epithelial cell. For example, this is cells of intestinal epithelial cell. Here is the tight junction. We are taking how the transport across the epithelial cell take place. In, for instance, we are taking the example of glucose, how the glucose get transport through the epithelial cell. These are the cells of intestine, it contain a particular receptor or this particular channel, this is known as a glute. Glucose transport family protein, usually there is a glute to present inside the epithelial cell. In the, in the epithelial cell, why are using the active transport? It is a primary active transport. The cell send a 3 sodium out and 2 potassium inside the cell. How many? 3 sodium outside of the cells and to potassium inside the cell why are, why are using the ATP why you why are consuming the ATP here the concentration of sodium is maximum outside in the cell but what happen inside the soul there is a low concentration of sodium for example here the glucose molecule for example this red are the glucose molecule ok I make it little bit bigger. I make it little bit big. This okay. It is also we have to make big. Okay. Now what happened? The higher concentration of sodium outside of the cell and the lower concentration of glucose outside of the cell. Here the higher concentration of glucose. For example, here the 4 molecule of glucose and here the 2 molecule of glucose. So what happened? This is the usual mechanism, this is, this is the normal mechanism which is performed by the cell. The 2 sodium get out of the cell and 3 get come inside the cell via consuming the ATP. And these transport known as the primary active transport. This is known as a primary active transport. Okay, primary active transport. This is an energy consuming process in which ATP is consumed. Here, the lot of amount of sodium get present. For example, cell set the sodium outside of the cell and permitted potassium ion inside the cells. So, what happened? Here, the concentration of sodium get increased. And this concentration of sodium increase due to consuming the energy. How? Why are this manner? We consume the ATP for sending sodium ion outside of the cell. And this is the energy gradient. Now what happened? The two sodium molecule, for example, this is a sodium here, black dot. This two sodium molecule bind to the glucose molecule, single glucose molecule and come inside the cell come inside the cell sodium also come inside the cell here the two sodium come inside the cell and one glucose molecule how? because the potassium get enter inside the cell and sodium is outside of the cell due to the primary active transport and here the energy is consumed 
and here the energy gradient is developed. Here the energy is developed. Hmm? These potential energy combine with the so glucose ion. For example, one glucose molecule and two sodium ion combine together, and these come inside the cell. Here the low concentration of the sodium why? Because we send too much sodium outside of the cell. And now here the low concentration of sodium, these high concentration of sodium come inside the cell along with the glucose. But what happens? Glucose is less outside of the cell and more inside the cell. These transport take place again the concentration gradient. And this is along the concentration gradient. This is known as a secondary active transport. This is a secondary active transport. Transport. Now what happened? These glucose shed out of the cell via using fasciated diffusion. Shed out of the cell by using the fasciated diffusion. I don't know if it is whether up here or not. But this is the fasciated diffusion. The glucose send out of the cell via using the facilitated diffusion. There is no energy molecule required for the transport of glucose outside of the cell. Because this is a facilitated diffusion, this is a passive diffusion. Now what happens here, the sodium concentration is greater and now cell again transport this cell sodium outside of the cell by entering the two potassium ion. This is known as a passive, sorry, active transport. This is a primary active transport and this is a sodium potassium ATPase. This is a sodium potassium ATPase. And this is come inside the apical to basolateral. How the transport take place across the epithelial cell? This is the best example of the transport across the cell. Let's summarize what happened. There is a two sodium ion, sorry, three sodium ion transport across the cell up to the across the apical domain across the apical domain and two potassium ion come inside the cell. What happened? This concentration gradient of the sodium, which is used by trans transport across the cell by using the energy, this energy utilized to introducing the glucose inside the cell again the concentration gradient. And this glucose due to the higher concentration, here the glucose concentration is higher, and these con due to the this concentration gradient, glucose come across the basal domain via using the facilitated diffusion. And now, what happened with sodium? Sodium get transferred outside the outside of the cell by using the sodium ATPase pump. This is all about the transport across the epithelial cell. Epithelial cell are those cells which is present on our skin, inside our mouth, intestine, all the places. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much.